This is a Zalman ZM RHS88. Okay. This is actually designed to uh, cool the RAM and also the FET cards on the 8800 GTS and also GTX. Okay, and it comes in two parts, is that right? Or yeah, all three parts? Well, basically, you would only use two of these parts. Right. So this section here is for the 8800 GTX, yeah. whereas this one is for the 8800 GTS. Okay, right. Okay, so what you'd assemble that first and then put it on there, so it bolts itself together and then goes on here. Yep. The, right. This is an 8800 GTS, so we just need to uh, use this heatsink here. Right, okay. And what about thermal pacing in each of these? Are you going to have to go around and put like a little blob of stuff on just like you did with the CPU? Or? No, because underneath here, if I just take this out of its packaging, what we have is uh, pre-applied thermal uh, pads there. And they're coated with a bit of plastic? Yeah, you just so, need to peel those off. So a bit like sticky back pads, but thermal? Yes. Right, well, thermal paste, yeah, so a bit of the Arctic Silver again, yeah? Yeah, it's much larger sort of surface area on the GPU than the CPU, so just apply a little bit more extra thermal paste, uh, and usual, just spread it all around. It yeah. Take a few moments to do this, until it's fully covered like that. So now that's covered, I can pull the pads off of this, yeah? Go on then. <laughs> Done. Okay, so I've got all the thermal pads off. Yep. And we did a, did a dry fit, so I know it's going to go like that. Correct. Slap it on now. Put it on. Put it on. Try not to touch the pads underneath. So, and I'm looking to line up these posts with these holes, aren't I? Correct. Yes. Yeah. Cool. This is this is easy. This. It must be if you can do it. Exactly. That's it. So just give it a press on each sort of RAM heatsink just to apply a little bit of pressure. Oh, there. oh is it slightly sort of like self adhesive? Then, yes. Okay. So don't be afraid to give it a bit of a gentle squeeze, as the actress said to the bishop. I'm sure she did. Right, okay, now what? Okay, turn the card over. So okay. what we need to do, we've got four posts here. Yep. We just need to uh, put some screws on there. Okay, so we go. Right. This is the VF1000, right. which is uh, Zalman's flagship VGA cooler. Okay. Full copper, weighs quite a bit. It's uh, certainly heavier than the stock cooler, and right. you'll notice that difference straight away. Okay. What you need to do with this, turn the, the cooler over, and you'll see this sort of X shape here. Yeah. Each one of these screw holes represent a certain card it would install okay. onto. So you have these little posts. These posts for this particular card go right at the very end, so you need to install screw four of those and all these... the way down and tighten them as, as tight as you can with your fingers. Okay, and then these are going to go, when, when we mount this on the, on the card, it's, they're going to poke through to the back of the board and then we bolt onto that? They'll poke through the RAM heat sink, through the back of the card, and then you just put on some more thumb screws. Okay, and it's, don't, don't, don't be shy, do them up as tight as you can with your hands. With your fingers, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's the last post mounted. Hang on, hang on a second, because I've noticed also in the box we've got these, so this is obviously, these are RAM sinks, which we don't need because we've already got that done. Correct. Um, the, this little box here, I think I recognise this, this is a, a fan controller, isn't it? Well, it's what's called a fan mate. Okay, fan, well, cheers buddy. It's not a fan though, it's a fan No, it's called a fan mate. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm not saying you're my mate, <laughs> I'm just saying it's a fan mate, that's its name. Okay, uh, so are we going to be using this? No, we're not going to use that because we're going to use that fan control. You remember when we saw it in the last Ah, set? right, okay, so we, so we don't need that either. No. Right, so get rid of that then, okay? Right, first thing what we need to do, like the CPU cooler, we just put a little blob in the centre, do the same with the GPU. Okay, just allow that to spread out. Yeah, just right. a little bit bigger as well with it being a, a VGA. Okay. <clears throat> so, over we go. Does this only fit one way? You can't put it around the other way? You can put it around the other way, but I don't uh, think you'll quite right. get yeah, it in, okay. and you won't get it... It won't fit into the board. Right. Exactly. So it goes this way, okay. straight through, no problem at all. And then turn the card over. 
you see your four posts poking through. Yeah. Same principle what you did with the other two. Okay, so take the springs off of these screws here and... Oh, plastic screws. washers first. Plastic washers first, all right. See, I'm learning here, I'm learning. So it's dependent on how close the, um, the PCIe lanes are. Correct, uh, yes. The PCIe slots, rather, mm -hmm. are. Um, as to what, which which screws that you use. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So there's there's no actual advantage between using these um, these these thumb screws. No, yes. thumb screws are easier to work with. So if you can use them, always use them. Okay. So if you have the space and it, and it does doesn't actually affect um, like the airflow in the car or anything like that. Not at all. Not not to any sort of noticeable effect at least. No. Right. Okay. So that's all the springs swapped over. Time. And again, just do it literally yeah. so it's just yeah. uh, biting. Just start it. So no, yeah, so screw so them all down, so you so get to a point... Op opposite corners, really? Opposite corners, and it'll just tighten it up, even pressure. I mean, I can, I, can, I can screw it some more, but I don't want to. I don't want to force it on too hard. Nick, that is perfect. Oh, I did something right for once. OK, so, that, that's, can I flip it over now, yeah? Just give you a word of advice. As you were picking the card up, you were going to touch that. I was going to touch on the end here. Just try not to, just pick it up from there. Because you don't want to get grease on the contacts. So that's our card ready to go. Oh no, we've got to connect the fan, haven't we? No, we're not going to do that here. We're going to install it first and then we're going to connect it to the fan controller that we mentioned before. Okay, so it goes from here to the fan controller and then back to here. No, it just connects straight to the fan controller. This connection is now redundant. So basically, we're ready to go and stick this into our system. Correct. Which we're going to cover on our next show. We are. Fantastic. Check back soon on Hexus TV for more on how to silence your PC with QuietPC.